And have you been trying to explain the situation of coronavirus and what's going on to your kids at all? So this has been heartbreaking for our daughter because she's at that age where she just doesn't understand. Um, you know, she's four. Obviously, our 16-month-old has no yeah. clue what's going on. Nothing's <laughs> different from him. But for Jolie, you know, there's kids across the street and we've let them now ride bikes um, six feet apart. Uh -huh. But like when they start to get close, me and the mom are like, distance, distance, like stay away. And she's like, why? And I was like, well, baby, because like everybody's sick right now. She's like, I'm not sick. And I was like, well, but, but you know, your, your friend is. And, and then I was like, and there's a virus. And, and so she just thinks there's an evil virus going around. Mm -hmm. um, but she still, it doesn't, still doesn't click with her. Like we took, we took her um, to go play on this like farm and let, you know, let her run around. And my friend had like come back like that afternoon and you know, she saw her friend and she's wanting to go hug. I'm like, no, 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 no. And she's like well, crying, like, why can't I hug, you know, Riker? And I'm like, because baby, like you just, you can't, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm sorry you don't understand. Like, and it broke my heart and we had to end up leaving because she just wouldn't stay a, like far apart from him and it's just so my husband and i agreed after that we're like we're just staying home because it's just it's too hard and too stressful to be like don't touch like you know and it's just even if we're outside like it's just it's not worth it mm -hmm. so no, it's just it's such a bummer but every night she goes mommy i have a secret to tell you and i was like okay jolie she's like jump place ice skating mouse and cheese which is Chuck E. cheese and she's like, can we go? And I was like, yes, baby, when it opens. So it's like every night she's like, I want to go. Like, I want to go to these places. But it's a bummer. Oh my gosh. She sounds so sweet and loving. She she is very sweet and, you know, but she's, she's doing great. And at the end of the day, like, you know, my husband and I are just trying to be smart about it and stay in. And, you know, he only goes out every two weeks for groceries. So, and, you know, we're just we're doing our part because I think, you know, we all want to get back to work. So it's mm -hmm. like, we just want it to be over with, but it is weird. Cause I, you know, I love, um, being in people's personal space and I don't know how to, um, not <laughs> like, I'm like, I love hugs and I love like, like my one friend, Catherine, she's like personal space. I'm like, I don't know what that is. Like, I like to just be up all in it. Uh -huh. And you know, I, I feel like it's going to be different now. And I, I hate that. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but you know what? Love is, you know, yes. it's can be untouchable and it can be, you know, it's, you can have that great love and still, you know, not have to touch people too. So. Yes, there you go. Have you learned anything new about parenting through this experience, ex through this experience with parenting? I think what I've learned is that um, it's okay to put the phone down. Like, I feel like a lot of times it's like the kids are here and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I gotta, I gotta post something or I gotta like email someone back. And it's like, that stuff really wasn't that important. And it, it could have waited another hour or two and it can. And so it's like putting my phone away and just being like, hi, yes. What do you like? Let's play, you know, and let's be really present because that email is going to be there. It doesn't need to be responded to in that second, but I'm very much like, it's got to be responded now. And like, I got to do this. And it's like, I've just really learned to just like put it away and like be super present because we're, I'm never going to get this time back with my kids. Mm -hmm. and, and they're so little and they're so impressionable. And it's just like, I just love, like, I love just like really being so connected. And I think that's what I've learned that it's okay to put the phone down. Like that email can wait. Um, and what activities are you doing with your kids to keep them busy during the quarantine? So um, we are making space of like our entire house. Um, you know, usually we just have the playroom, but now the house is their playroom. Like we have a tent um, in our master bedroom that we put up for them. The, the, um, the laundry basket is now like a boat. Um, in the living room, my husband like, he cut out um, a cardboard box and it's a house. And so they've been playing in that. So I mean, like just doing anything to keep them entertained and um, active. And, you know, we have, when it's a nice day outside, we'll go outside. It's been raining the past few days. So we mm -hmm. haven't been able to, we turn the garage into a playroom and move the cars out. And we're just, we're doing anything to just like make the time go. And then usually by five o'clock, we're like, two hours till bedtime we got this <laughs> so by five o'clock it becomes like the greatest countdown of our lives oh my gosh i'm sure it's exhausting how is homeschooling going like do you have any tips for parents so 
you know, I kind of like struggled with this because I'm like, okay, she's four, yeah. but I'm like, but granted, she is in pre she was in preschool, so um, you know, she was learning things. So my husband and I were like, okay, let's just take an hour a day, and we'll alternate between days so that not one of us is getting more frustrated than the other one. So we'll go in the office and we'll take her in there, and we're just, you know, going through one letter at a time. And I think it's just, um, and then doing something fun with it too, like making it out of play doh or you know, reading a book and having her, you know, call out the letter. So I think it's just not stressing like, oh my God, she's usually in preschool from nine to three and she has to be doing it from nine to three every day. It's like, that's just not realistic for, you know, also having a, a toddler running around and and the occasional work stuff that we have to do. So it's, it's just like having a little bit of grace and knowing that, you know, as long as you do a little bit, any little bit helps. A hundred percent. A little goes a long way, you know? <laughs>